Hey guys, what's up? It's your boy Alex here with the Inside Scoop. So I am pretty excited. Um, I have done what I set out to do and I have automated the alerts. Okay. Um, <laughs> it's pretty automated. Now, I'm not going to say fully automated because you do have to give it some input. Okay. So you do have to give it some thoughts and I'll show you what I mean. Right. So we all know that i mean if you've been in eight minute trader you know that it's not every signal that you take right you have to filter the signals based on certain conditions but for me i try to keep it very simple okay this here up here it's like a mountain all right so when i see this peaks this mountain peak up here i'm looking at cells okay and if i see a valley which is you know, the opposite of a mountain, right? If I see a valley, which is, let me show you. Uh, let me get my little box here. Insert and close. Perfect. If I see this valley, I'm looking to buy. Okay. So just think of it as mountains and valleys. All right. So two different extremes. When you see one extreme, you're looking for sells. When you see another extreme, you're looking for buys, all right? I just try to keep it simple like that. And let me just go ahead and show you the trades first of all, so you can see, um, you know, the automation working, all right? So let me show you that real quick here. So I just got a buy alert on uh, USD JPY. So um, you should be able to see here my, the automation pickup, that buy signal here and it should add the trade here in a second. So um, it might take like a minute for it to enter it because uh, we're on the we're on the five minute chart. So because I wanted to improve the, the anyway, I don't bore you with all the details, but it just to improve the performance. That's why it doesn't check every second. So it might take like a minute to enter the trade as per my parameters here. So this is a demo account. Okay, so you can actually see the trade has been entered here. Um, and automatically it sets, you know, um, the stop loss. So all of that is set automatically there. So you don't even have to do any of that. Here's another example with a USD 30 sell alert that came here at the top of uh, here. And this was a risk in terms of risk to reward. This was 1% to make uh 10%. So basically I risked, um, you know, 1% on my account. And right now it's almost at like $436 here in profit, which is pretty incredible. All right. So I'll just wait till the signal, uh, this trade closes. It's about to hit take profit and it has hit take profit. Okay, so now you have seen the automation working and this is, for example, like a sell trade that um, the automation placed, you know, I didn't have to do anything here. All I had to do is uh, once I seen this mountain here, right, where price rose up, it rose up, 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 up right here. I said, you know what, it's time for me to uh, switch it over to look for sales. Okay. So I'll show you what I mean in a second here. Okay. So this is what I mean. Look at how price is just going up. It's just going up, up, up here. So at this point, let's say you're looking at this, at this day here, like, okay, price has risen up pretty, pretty, you know, it has risen up. Uh, let me go ahead and place the automator to look for sell. So I go into here. This is the automator. Okay. And for me, I only use this on us, us 30. Um, Depend on your strategy, you may want to open up other charts, but honestly, just one chart is good enough for this strategy here. OK, uh, I'd recommend just using it on just the US 30 chart or just one chart. OK, um, you can test it with other stuff if you want to. Uh, but for me, it's just US 30 is what I've been testing it on. All right. So let me go ahead and explain to you um, the parameters of this. All right. So when I right click here, I go to expert properties. Okay. Uh, max active order at a time. 
all that simply means is if you, if you have this automator working on more than one chart, it'll only execute one order at a time. So if, if for example, you have um, an alert come on one chart and then you have an alert come on another chart, it won't execute the second alert because you're already in an order. Okay, that's all that simply means. Um, work on chart ID, ignore for now. I'll, say, I'll, I'll show you how to set up the, the indicator uh, once you have access to it, okay? All right, so this is what I mean here. I could set it to sell only, I could set it to buy only, or I could set it to look for both, meaning that whether you get a buy or sell alert, it'll take that alert, okay? So when I saw this, for example, this peak here, look at this big peak right here. I'm looking for sells at that point. OK, I'm looking for sales right now. Price has dropped quite a bit. Right. Look at this from the top all the way down to the bottom. So guess what I'm going to be doing? I'm going to look for only buys. I'm looking for only buys at this point because I'm like, you know, price has dropped. OK, and this is the way that I like to do it. So then I don't have to babysit the charts. I don't have to babysit the alerts. OK, I could literally just, you know, come to my chart, look and see, has there been a peak? Is there a mountain or a valley? Okay. Has there been a big increase in price where price has, you know, risen up for such an extended period of time? Look at this price has risen up for such an extended period of time or has price decreased for an extended period of time. And yes, it has. Yes, it has. So I'm like, you know what? I'm looking for buy. So I go ahead, go into my, you know, my automator. All right. And boom, I'm looking for buys. Look for buy only. And then I can use a time filter, right? So I can say between this time to this time, I don't want there to be any trades taken. Or I could even set it to say, if there is a trade and it's around this time, close that trade. OK, so those are, you know, time timing parameters that I can use. And I'll explain more of this, uh, you know, for those that do get their hands on this. I'm making this available for my team, of course. So if, if you joined a minute trader through me, I will give you free access to this. All you got to do is reach out to me on Telegram. If you're not part of my team, reach out to me on Telegram and, you know, I will work something out with you. OK. All right. Um, so. The stop loss, it's also set automatically. You could set it by bar, which, you know, I like to do. I like to use it by bar. Uh, basically, what that means is, for example, let's go to that. Uh, where is that trade that executed here? OK, so by bar, let me make this bigger just so you can see it. By bar means that if I set it to two bars, that means when the alert comes in, look two bars uh, back. So it will look one bar two bar and then it'll set the stop loss right above it which it did see this red line right here right so that's by bar if i want to set it to three bars it'll look at the third bar so three bars back and put the stop loss um x amount of pips above that okay if i want to i could even do 50 bars back and it'll literally look like 50 bars back and put the stop loss above it if i wanted to do that but i like to keep it to two to three bars okay all right, so let me go back in properties and here is where I can control uh, the stop loss. So, um, so uh, indices is a little bit different than uh, Forex. So uh, that's if you're trading like US 30 or the NASDAQ or stuff like that. So then, you know, you just have to make sure you put your your stop loss uh, just based on based on that here. Uh, so. Let me see if I can go back here. Just measure it. Uh, where was that trade? Oh, right here. OK, so from right here to right here, um, it'll be. Yeah, so about 50, about 50 um, uh, pips above it here. Which is what I set about 50 pips above the three, the three uh, last candles. So that 500 uh, points equals to 50 pips. OK, so this is in points. Um, if you prefer to work in points, just keep in mind that 500 points is 50 pips. All right. So and then Forex, uh, the pips are, of course, a little bit smaller in, in size. Right. So Forex, it might only be like if you wanted five pips, you'd have to put this to 50. OK, 50 would be five pips. All 
All right, so this lot in money, this is really cool because it automatically calculates for you. So uh, if you want to set your risk based on money, uh, which I have my set to right now, so this is $50, um, which on like a $5,000 account is 1%, okay? Uh, or you can just do percent. You can say risk 1% and it'll automatically calculate uh, just based on your stop loss and everything. It'll calculate uh, the dollar amount of risk for that trade, which this is a time saver, guys. You don't have to sit there and calculate a time saver. It just makes this super easy for me. All right, so you can do percentage or you can do lot if you just wanna set the lot size yourself. Uh, but yeah, by money, $50 or by percentage, 1%. 3%, whatever you want to risk. It's all up to you. This I love, man. This is amazing. Uh, risk to reward. Okay. This one is saying that I'm risking 1% to make 10% basically. Okay. So this is uh, times 10. So this is um, a 1 to 10 risk to reward. If I wanted 5, uh, then this could be a 1 to 5 for rewards, reward, risk to reward ratio. So in this case, risking $50 uh, to make uh, 250 bucks. Okay. Uh, you can also set it to fixed if you just want to set a, a fixed take profit and this is 200 pips um, if you wanted to set it to a fix and then you have of course um, um, I won't talk about mo use move TP just you don't really need, need to use that uh, use trailing stop uh, if you want to use it you could trail it like coach Mo you know has been teaching you could trail your stops um, so you could do that if you want to use that use uh, for break even you could set it so if if price goes X pips in your favor then it bumps your stop loss uh, to like maybe plus one or something like that so that if the trade goes against you you're still safe right so you could use those parameters if you choose to uh, use those parameters okay so that's pretty much it in a nutshell that's the settings of this particular um, automation but um so there's two ways that you can use it right so the a minute trader team you know teaches you about you know um which which alerts are the best alerts and which alerts are not the best alerts so you can you can um you know you can watch it closely and when you see something like this for example uh then you see the buy and you're like okay you know what i see that you know price is sloping upwards um you know i see the slope here and it has bounced back you know to what would be a trend line uh, let me go ahead and take this by you know you could set it like that so um, what I like to do again is mountains and peaks literally for me is just so simple that way right so I, I'm looking at this oh, I said mountains and peaks mountains and valleys. so I'm looking at this and I'm like man this is one monster big valley look at this big valley this is a big dip right so I'm like okay from here let me set the automator to look for just buys and then boom, finds this buy, automatically enters, my stop loss goes below this candle, automatically set for me, I don't have to do anything there, and boom, whatever my risk to reward ratio is, if I'm grabbing you know, risk to reward ratio of three, uh, risking one, let's say 1% to make 3%, um, or risking 3% to make 9%, whatever the, the case may be that your risk is, uh, you can automatically have it you know, set like that, right? So I see this big valley, I'm looking for buys, I get this buy. I see this big peak and I'm like, oh, look at this mountain right here, man. Look at this. Uh, let me let me minimize it a little bit so you can see. I'm like, man, you see this mountain right here. Let me look for cells. I see price went up quite a bit and then formed a little kind of mountain peak. Let me look for cells, right? So this takes practice, guys, to, to see this. I've been trading for a while. That's why I see it right away. But it does take practice to see it. Um, but yeah, you can just literally go into the strategy tester and you can practice this on alerts, right? You can't use the automator in strategy tester. It just does not work for the strategy tester. But you can, you know, practice your your alert taking uh, skills in the strategy tester. So I'm like, oh, I see this uh, valley here. Right, let me look for buys. I see this peak here. I see this peak here. Let me look for sells. Now I see this valley here where price has gone down, right? Formed the valley. Let me look for buys, right? And that's how simple it is. So 
I don't need to look at the chart too often, but still watch it. Don't just set the automator there and just leave it and go on vacation for a week. No, that's not the way you treat the automator. Okay. This is just to help you um, in terms of what you, you know, what you have been, you know, taught an eight minute trader all right this is just to help you in case you you're not near your computer and you need to just set it to look for buy or to, to set it to look for sells or whatever the case may be um don't just turn it on one minute time and just set it to look for buys and sells no you're not gonna make profit that way uh you need to it's best when you give it a direction all right when you have a bias in place right caused by maybe one of these peaks and then you give it the, the direction that's the best way that i found uh, to maximize this automation okay all right um, yeah so I mean I can I can go into more see look at this beautiful beautiful this is a valley look at this beautiful valley here price dropped dropped look at this consolidated at the at the low here consolidated for quite a bit I'm like man I'm looking for buys so boom I get a buy right here I'm taking that alert Actually, I'm not even, I don't even have to do it. I could set it. As soon as I see this valley, I could set the automated to look for buys. And as soon as this buy uh, alert pops up, boom, enters into the trade, enters into the trade. So I hope your mind is already, you know, exploding from the possibilities of this, you know, um, and some of you will probably be able to even use this even better than I'm using it, right? Because um, I'm on <laughs> I'm on tons of projects, so I don't have a lot of time to dedicate to just one. Um, so some of you may you know be able to take this and be like, oh man, I know exactly when to turn it on. I know exactly what to look for. You know what I mean? So yeah. All right. So that's it. I just want to show you that uh, yeah, automator is working and uh, it's sweet as gold. All right. <laughs> Um, so they, yeah, that's it. That's it. Uh, and of, of course, Forex does carry with it risk. So guys, only trade with money that you can afford to lose. And for the love of God, don't take the automator and put it right away on a live account. Practice what you're going to do first in demo. Practice it in demo first. Then when you're okay, you're fine. Then you can move it over to a live account. But first, just practice it. Get the feel of it. Get the feel of setting the parameters. Um, oh, shoot. I removed it. All right, whatever. I'll put it back after. Get the feel of setting the parameters uh, in demo so that, you know, when you go live, you're like, oh, man, this is easy, right? Practice first on demo, right? And to open a demo account is very, very, very simple, all right? I'll do it right now. You just click open and open an account and you could just go demo and new demo account and then just click I agree and click next. That's it. Click finish. You can save the credentials that it gave you, but click finish and then boom, you have a new demo account right here. Look at that new demo account that's how easy it is to open a demo account guys so don't practice this on real money yet just practice it on demo account until you know you got it figured out once you have it figured out then you can use it on on a live account okay all right i think that's it if you have any questions uh i imagine my telegram will probably be blowing up from probably people that are not even on my team looking to get access to this so uh, anyway um you know i'm i'm happy to help uh, I always like to, you know, make things a little bit easier, you know, for myself. So if this is something that will benefit you as well, just reach out to me on Telegram. All right, guys, I don't want to ramble too much. <laughs> That's it for now. Thank you. God bless. Take care. Have a great day. Bye.